Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of estimating addition problems. This is standard 3.4b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 17 of the 2024 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we have Eliza here, and Eliza is riding her bike on three days. So we've got 12 miles, we've got nine miles, we've got seven miles. And it even tells us what to do. She rounds each number to the nearest 10 to find the estimate of the total number of miles she rode. All right, so we've got 12, we've got nine, and we've got seven, right? So if we think of this as a part, part, part whole, the question is, what is our total, right? We need to find the estimate. And it tells us what to do. We round it to the nearest 10. So let's do this. Let's draw a number line here. And let's just make that zero. Let's make this 10. And since we've got numbers that are larger than 10, we also need to include that next boundary number. Let's go up to 20. All right, so we need to round it to the nearest 10. So these numbers are either going to go to 0, to 10, or to 20. So in order to do that, we need to find some midpoints. So what's in between 0 and 10? Well, that's going to be 5. What's going to be between 10 and 20? That's going to be 15. So really, this is how we're going to think about it. Okay, If a number is less than 5, it rounds down to 0. If a number is greater than 5 but less than 10, it rounds up to 10. But then if a number is less than 15, right, and less than 15 but greater than 10, it's going to also round down to 10. And if it's at 15 or above, right, it's going to go up to 20. So take a look at what we've got. We've got numbers from this huge range all the way from 5 to almost 15, right? That's really going to be 14. Anything between 5 and 14 actually rounds to 10. So that's going to be our, our biggest bucket right there. So let's take a look at our numbers, and let's put them on the number line. So 12. Well, 12 is going to land right about there. So you notice how 12... It's going to round to 10. So I'm just going to put a 10. It's only 2 away from 10. Much closer to 10 than it is to 20. It's 8 away from 20. So 12 is very close to 10. But look at 9. 9 would be right here. 9 is just 1 away from 10. Right? 9 comes between 0 and 10. But 9 is only 1 away from 10. It's 9 away from 0. So 9 also rounds to 10. Now 7 is not necessarily as close, but 7 is right there. 7 also rounds up to 10. Because 7 is between the two boundary numbers of 0 and 10, and 7 is a lot closer to 10 than it is to 0, because it's greater than 5. So look at all three of my numbers, 12, 9, and 7. They all round to 10. 10, 10, and 10, right? Well, that would equal 30. Let's just double check. One way to double check this is to just do the actual math, right? What is 12 and 9 and 7, right? Now, this doesn't give us the answer, but this is a good way for us to check for reasonableness. Let's just add this up. 2 and 9 is 11, right? Add another 7. It's going to be 18, carry that 1. Take a look at this. If you just add the 12 and the 9 and the 7, you're going to get 28, which is really close to this 30, right? All right, so how are we going to find our answer here? Well, we got a 10, a 30, a 40, and a 20. You notice it's just those four multiples of 10, though they did kind of rearrange the order. That's interesting here. But we see our answer here is going to be that 30, because that's a 12, 9, and 7. When you round it to the nearest 10, 10, 10, and 10, they come closest to that 30. So that is our answer B.